Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's toilet paper, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's unused. I'm so anxious, trying to be courageous, praying that you say yes. I plan this all out just for you. It all began in 2006 at Heaton Intermediate when they were just 12. The classes had dance practice for school formal, which is generally accepted to be an excruciatingly painful experience. But in a moment of shining brightness, Jack asked Sophie to dance. Her heart melted, and well, that was that. It seems a shame to take a shine off such a beautiful moment by sharing the fact that Jack and Sophie were actually the last two kids to be picked. Girl, you make me wanna stand in a suit In front of After three almighty pushes, Jack had exited the birth canal, bringing the light to the darkness and the day that the special human entered the, into the world. <laughs> Number one of the movies with about a dad who dressed up as a woman to get closer to his children, Mrs Doubtfire. And as Jack was born, Mar Mariah Carey was singing about a hero coming along. But officially, we started dating at the end of high school when we were about 17. Sophie worked at a bakery, I worked at a pizza shop. It was a match made in heaven. <laughs> yeah. Pizza boy and bakery girl, it's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> the only woman that uh, has the ability to handle Jack's mood swings, his need to wear clothes tighter than yours, and the girl that's here to pick up the pieces after he doesn't take the right photo at the gym. I'm truly so happy that you two have found each other because, Sophie, you make Jack happier in ways I never could. <laughs> Even though it being such a petty sister, stealing your look with matching country rope bags in high school, hairstyles, borrowing your clothing with or without asking, um, I've never met more of a role model. Oh my dear sweet Sophie, oh my goodness. Oh no. And you've got to thank her for this wedding because it's been all her. Sophie and I have been planning this wedding for about two years now. Sorry. It's been a, a <laughs> excuse me, it's been a hard graph full of stresses, ups and downs. I mean, I'm kidding myself. Um, Sophie, you've done it all. And you can tell by the signs around here, it says Sophie and Jack. It doesn't say Jack and Sophie. <laughs> I was thinking, well, what was the first time I met Jack? I was out in the, in the garden and um, I turn around and there's this young fellow standing there and he thrusts his hand out, introduces himself, shake his hand and I, said, I was really surprised. I thought this little fellow's only 11 years old. I sort of stood back and I thought, my gosh, I said, he means business. I mean, he really does. <laughs> When we were younger You started on with the look you gave I spread over and over among us When we were younger From the day that you asked me to dance as two wee 11 year olds we have done life together. Our hopes and dreams we have fulfilled together with you becoming my family, my heart and my whole world. You have the biggest heart, you're patient and you're gentle, and so unbelievably kind. You have taught me that whatever we may face, we'll face together, with love, stubbornness, and a few comments by you reminding me that I just need to chill out. You keep me grounded, and while I promise to continue to be the world to your calm, I will support you in anything that you decide to do. Your belief in me is greater than my belief in myself, and I thank you for that. I'm the woman I am today because I've grown up with you. There really is no one else quite like you. I love you forever and always. Follow that. <laughs> we were both so good looking back then, but for some odd reason, 
we were both left at the end together and we paired up. <laughs> Little did I know it was the start of our relationship. Since then you've been in my life one way or another. <laughs> my favourite part about you is that you motivate me to be the best person that I can be and experience things I wouldn't have done without you. I promise to love you we, even when we are driving away from home and you think you left your hair straightener on so we have to go back and check. I'm extremely proud of who you've become and I'm extremely excited for our future together. I love you now forever, Button. <laughs> Sophie, I'll never forget you walking down that aisle. You are beautiful in more ways than I can count. It's a bug in my throat. Whatever you do, I will support you. Except your habit of eating frozen chips straight from the freezer. I don't support that. Please raise your glasses for a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Eaton, candy from the stag do, and the beautiful bar staff. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I want some toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> so good.